This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth. If you look, you'll see the pyramid is built except for the top. It's built except for the top. The eye is suspended above the top. It hasn't come down yet. Because they believe until they finished the Masonic project, which is the, the what they say on the bottom, Novus Ordo Seclorum, and then Annuata Chapters, he is pleased with our project. In other words, the God they believe in is pleased with our project. What is the project? This is the question. What is the project that this God is pleased with? The project is literally the secularization of the world. To completely strip the world from religious beliefs. This is the project. And that is why it is called Novus Ordo Seclorum. A new secular or worldly order. The Quran and the Prophet, Allah's blessings be upon him, directed our attention to another actor as powerful as Gog and Magog. Who is he? He is the Jal, the false messiah or the antichrist. Why is he known as the false messiah? Simple. Because his mission is to impersonate the true Messiah. The true Messiah was the son of Mary, Nabi Isa Islam, Jesus. Peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. When Allah sent him, he was sent as the true Messiah with a mission to rule the world from Jerusalem from Holy Israel. And so Dajjal is close to the completion of his mission. The Messenger of Allah, Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, informed us of the release of Dajjal into the world during his lifetime. During his lifetime. 
He went on to say that when Dajjal is released into the world, he would live on earth for 40 days. One day like a year, one day like a month, one day like a week, and the rest of his days like your days. That when Dajjal was in a day which is like a year, Britain was his headquarters. And when Dajjal moved to a day which is like a month, the United States of America became his headquarters. And finally when Dajjal is going to be in a day which is like a week, he comes back home to the Holy Land. He comes back home to the Holy Land. The Jal has already completed his first phase, a day like a year, when Britain was the ruling state in the world and the sterling pound was the international currency. And then the Jal moved to a day which is like a month and the United States replaced Britain as the ruling state in the world. And the US dollar became the international currency. And now the United States is about to relinquish power and Israel is about to replace the United States as the ruling state in the world. And what will be the new money? Answer, the US dollar is going to be attacked and will collapse and bring down all the paper money of the world with it. You won't see paper money after that. Well then what's going to be money? What's the new money that Israel will use to enslave mankind? the way the United States used the U.S. dollar. Answer? Israel is going to use invisible money, you can't see it. Intangible money, you can't touch it. It will be electronic money. And the strange thing, the dangerous thing about electronic money is that it is controlled by the banking system around the world and the Jews control the banking system. That's not an uncharitable statement. That's not an invalid statement. That's the truth.